T'Challa, the Black Panther, and King of Wakanda is one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and one of the most underrated in terms of power, at least in my opinion. After all, he never had a knockdown, drag out fight with someone like Thanos, although he did try his best. In this video, like all our other power scaling videos, we will break down Black Panther's strength, speed, skill, and durability, as well as any other unique gadgets or powers the character may have at their disposal. With that being said, let's not waste any time. The Black Panther of Wakanda is a mantle passed down from generation to generation, and each iteration of the legendary hero receives their incredible power from a special plant known as the heart-shaped herb. Once consumed, the individual is granted superhuman strength, speed, and instincts. And in terms of T'Challa's outright strength, you may think his most impressive feat is taking down a fully grown African white rhino, which can weigh up to 5,500 pounds, but his most impressive feat of strength is actually this. Did you miss it? Here it is again. If you still don't know what you're looking at here, let me explain a bit. Black Panther is moving Winter Soldier's arm off of his neck. And while that doesn't sound all that impressive, it is. Just trust me. Uh, you don't trust me. Alright, well, I'll explain then. Winter Soldier is a super soldier, like Captain America. He received his powers from Hydra, and if you'd like to learn more about that specifically, you can click the card. But he also received a sick metal arm from them as well. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude! This metal arm is far more powerful than Bucky's other arm and is significantly stronger than even Captain America. Let's just look at the evidence. In their first meeting, Bucky was able to catch Cap's shield after he launched it from a full sprint, putting a significant amount of power behind the throw. And Bucky did this pretty casually. Remember that Cap can pierce vibranium when catapulting his shield and Bucky caught it with no difficulty. In their second meeting, Bucky's punch strained Captain America even though he punched the shock-absorbing vibranium shield. Later, he's able to flip Cap over and disarm him, and Steve is helpless when Winter Soldier has him in a chokehold, and finally, Bucky is able to overpower Cap with one arm here, and keep in mind that Steve is bracing with his legs and using both arms to try and hold Bucky off. So, okay, that's neat and all, but how strong is Captain America, right? I mean, we can't really say that it's impressive unless we have like a baseline feat to compare these characters to. Well, in his base form, meaning not empowered by Mjolnir, he's able to lift this metal beam here, weighing over 34 tons, and then push a bulldozer weighing over 50 tons across a football field. For detailed information about these numbers, check out our good friend Comic Books vs. The World's video on Captain America's strength. So with all that being said, Captain America, a man who can move over 50 tons around, is weaker than Winter Soldier's metal arm, which Black Panther was able to overpower, which really surprised Bucky. So if you ever need proof that Black Panther is indeed stronger than Captain America, this is pretty definitive. But we're not done here. After receiving his new outfit, he becomes even more powerful. What makes this version so special is its kinetic, absorbent, and redistribution abilities. The armor's vibranium nanites can absorb kinetic energy from multiple sources and send out an energy pulse with the amount that was stored. With a fully charged suit, he's able to flatten Call Obsidian, who for reference was demolishing Iron Man and even took a Mjolnir to the face and got back up. Combining his incredible strength with his vibranium claws, he's even able to score Captain America's shield. And I've heard a lot of people say that this was simply scratching the paint, but I'm obsessed with power scaling and have purchased way too many guidebooks, and within those guidebooks I found confirmation that he did, in fact, damage the shield itself, not just the paint. And keep in mind that Captain America's shield absolutely no-sells nearly everything thrown at it, including Mjolnir, Mindstone Blasts, and even Ultron. Now, let's discuss durability. As mentioned previously, Black Panther wears a vibranium suit, which of course is extremely durable. And it's entirely bulletproof, you know, he tanks point-blank explosions to the face, and he's able to take direct hits from Bucky's aforementioned metal arm. 
and he's even able to do so without the Black Panther armor on, although we know that Wakandans laced their clothing with vibranium as well, so that likely helped in this specific case. Additionally, T'Challa is able to power through Natasha's Widow's Bite not once, not twice, but three times, and is still almost able to catch up with Captain America and the Winter Soldier. In his upgraded armor, his durability increases, as again, the Vibranium Nanites absorb kinetic energy, so not only does the Vibranium absorb the vibrations, but the Nanites absorb additional kinetic energy and store it. In his new suit, he's able to walk through Claw's sound cannon, despite the fact that it causes the suit to malfunction. And just for reference, without the suit, he was launched across the room by this blast, and they're even powerful enough to dismantle vehicles entirely. But easily his best durability feats are in Infinity War and Endgame, where T'Challa comes face to face with the mad titan Thanos. He's punched in the head and launched into the ground by Thanos, but thanks to his suit's new abilities, he's able to survive. Compare this to Vision, whose body is made of a vibranium weave. Thanos is able to pluck the Mind Stone from his head with no effort. And in Endgame, Black Panther has another very impressive durability feat, and if you blink, you may miss it. While carrying the Infinity Gauntlet, Black Panther is hit by Thanos' helicopter blade, which he threw at T'Challa. Not only is this super impressive because the blade is made of Uru and Thanos was the one throwing it, but because he was able to get right back up with no visible damage done to the suit. So let's do another comparison. Iron Man, who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Mad Titan, who was able to make him bleed, was knocked out when Thor launched Mjolnir toward Thanos, and Iron Man was used as a shield. This completely incapacitated Iron Man for a decent amount of time, and keep in mind that Thor, the one who knocked Iron Man out, is significantly weaker than Thanos, who threw the blade at Black Panther. Now, let's discuss speed. The absolute worst part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to power scale due to its ridiculous inconsistency. Right now, we essentially have the entire universe at massively hypersonic, which is around Mach 300 at its peak. At least the verse, not the massively hypersonic speed. Anyway, giving Black Panther reaction and combat speeds of roughly 230,000 miles per hour. This is due to Captain Marvel's multiple feats of incredible speed during her solo film and in Endgame. We're not factoring in her travel speed here, which is like millions of miles per hour, just what we've seen her react to on screen. If you'd like the entire calculation, I will provide that in the description, but I'm sure you're wondering how Captain Marvel's reaction and combat speed relates to Black Panther. Well, if you remember what we did earlier when we figured out Captain America's strength, and then determined that he was weaker than Bucky, and then determined that Black Panther was stronger than Bucky, that's called power scaling. Essentially, character A is weaker than character B, who's weaker than character C, right? So in this case, every Marvel Cinematic Universe character scales to each other in terms of speed. Captain Marvel scales to Thanos, and Thanos scales to multiple characters that Black Panther has reacted to, like Captain America, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, etc. All these characters at one point or another have fought each other or have fought the same person. Does that make sense? Good. So that's it for Black Panther strength, durability, and speed, but we're not done just yet. So what about his skill? Well, he's able to embarrass Winter Soldier multiple times in hand-to-hand -hand combat using skill alone. Winter Soldier is roughly equal to Captain America in skill, and we all know what Captain America is able to do. To put this into perspective a bit more, according to the Russo brothers, Thanos has been fighting for thousands of years, and he's able to outskill characters like Thor, who Coulson states was able to make the most highly trained S.H.I.E.L.D. agents look like mall cops, and is convinced that Thor has had extensive hand-to-hand -hand training overseas. Black Panther is above this high level of skill, shown multiple times throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe when fighting Captain America, Winter Soldier, and one of the deadliest S.H.I.E.L.D. agents of all time, Clint Barton. Additionally, T'Challa is incredibly skilled in stealth as he's able to track Iron Man, who has advanced AI, which alerts him of possible dangers, Captain America, and Bucky, who both have enhanced senses and are highly trained stealth agents in their own right, one of them being the most infamous assassin of all time. Not only is he able to track and follow these three, he goes completely undetected by the entire group. 
Finally, let's discuss Black Panther's gizmos and gadgets provided to him by his sister, Shuri. Of course, we've already discussed his vibranium suit, but it's got some other neat abilities. The armor is concealed within his necklace that materializes with a mental command from the user. Shuri has designed the necklace to even pass through metal detectors without issue. T'Challa is also equipped with Kamoyo beads, which have a variety of functions. They can receive and make calls, display video and holograms, can be used as a light source, EMPs, and can control Black Panther's various tech. Additionally, they seem to have medicinal properties that help stabilize Ross when he was shot in the spine. Black Panther also has access to soundproof sneakers, although these are not part of his standard armor. And I think that's pretty much everything for Black Panther's strength, speed, skill, durability, and all other unique abilities and equipment. What do you guys think? Do you think that I put enough respect on Black Panther's name, or do you still think he's underrated? Let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to let me know who you'd like to see a video on next. Of course, we have an entire playlist of videos power scaling various characters from the DC Extended Universe, to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, to the Umbrella Academy, to the Seven from the popular boys TV series. So. Be sure to check those out. And again, let me know what you'd like to see in the next power scaling video. Thanks for watching everybody. We do really, really appreciate it. And remember the motto, it's Black Panther and Wakanda forever over everything. And I'll see you guys next time.